Hey everybody, this is the Windows 7 Trainer. Hey guys, wanted to bring you another video of a really cool utility Microsoft has included for us uh, in the Windows 7 product line. It is called the Reliability Monitor. We can find it a couple different ways. If I click the Windows 7 Start button here, I've got the search bar. I can type REL in there for reliability and notice I have the link that says view reliability history but guys if you're a 70-680 exam candidate in the future don't rely on that search bar learn where these actual tools live and guys most of them live off of your control panel so let's click the same start orb or start button we're gonna click control panel next and in control panel everybody let's go ahead and click on the system and security control panel link and we're going to click on the Action Center next. Now the Action Center uh, is a replacement really for the Security Center that we had in the past. You can see here I have security options but I have maintenance options and guys that's where we're going. So I'm going to click maintenance here. Now under maintenance I also have the same link that says view reliability history. So everybody I'm going to go ahead and click that for you and here is the reliability monitor. Now this tool, this graph, really does two things for you. It tracks via graph your proposed reliability over a period of time and it tracks it as it says here between a scale of 1 to 10. 10 meaning your machine has been really reliable over the weeks or the days one obviously your machine is not reliable at all so you can follow the graph and kind of figure out where your machine has been if we take a look right here though on 1120 notice I was up here about five or six and boom drop down to close to a one why well notice below it here this graph also tracks five types of issues over on the right application failures windows failures miscellaneous failures, warnings, and information. And if any of those types of events are found in Event Viewer, it pulls those events right into this tool and it places the appropriate icon on the graph. So notice this is 11-21-2011. We're going to go ahead and click on that entire day. And down below now, it breaks down everything that happened on those days based on these five categories on the right. So we've got critical events, and on that day, I actually had nine of them. I explore crash, we have some DLL issues, media player, VLC issues. Those are critical, meaning that those events, those nine events, uh, hurt, I guess you could say, the overall stability of the machine. Maybe the machine locked up, it slowed down, whatever. I had to open Task Manager and kill a process, whatever. You'll know what happened exactly on that day. If we scroll down a little bit more, we have warnings, we have informational events also. Notice it's going to track updates for you. So if you're troubleshooting a machine, maybe it's a help desk environment, you'll know when updates and things ran. USB device driver issues and, and driver installations it really gives you a lot of good information now here's why I like the tool from a real professional IT standpoint if you're on a help desk and you're out dealing with users every day when you ask a user about problems they've encountered really one of three things is going to happen they know what happened and what they did and they're going to give you valuable and valid information or more likely number two they're not going to know what they did where they were when it happened and exactly what happened they just know hey my machine is not acting right or unfortunately number three they're not going to tell us the truth they're going to say hey I don't I didn't download anything I don't know what happened on the machine this is the issue well guess what guys why I like this tool is at least in the early stages of troubleshooting a machine we don't have to interface with the user why it's all tracked right here you know any application failures or windows failures miscellaneous failures warnings guess what shows up in the warning section everybody pop-ups that the user saw on their screen you'll know what ActiveX controls they downloaded and installed you'll know where those ActiveX controls came from because this is going to track the web page or whatever wherever they got them from you'll know exactly what they've done on the machine so you don't have to put the user on the spot you don't have to waste your time getting information that is not going to help you this tool really is a time saving tool for a help desk professional or anybody 
who was tasked with maintaining and monitoring client level operating systems. In particular, this is available in Windows 7. It's available in your Server 2008 R2 products as well. So this is a really, really good and a beneficial tool. Now, any of these problems that are encountered are also going to be tracked inside of what's called problem reports and solutions. Okay, remember back in the XP days when you had an issue on an XP machine and a little pop-up came up on your screen and it says, hey, you've encountered a problem. Do you want to report this problem to Microsoft? You click, yes, I do. You saw the little two icons communicating back and forth with each uh, other. Have you ever wondered what came of that? Well, really, from the, uh, the immediate problem, nothing came of it. Maybe it ended up in, in a security roll-up or a service pack or something down the line. But we now have a tool called the Problem and Reports Solution Tool, which is really going to give you the ability to say, hey, I want to check for solutions now. I don't want to wait till you send me uh, some kind of an update or whatever. I want to see if there's something out there now. And believe it or not, you're going to find a lot of times those problems that you may have encountered will, in fact, have solutions to them already. A couple things you can do here. We can simply say, check for solutions and it's going to look at all of your problems that were encountered and see if there's any solutions out there on the internet. Now, if there are not, guess what it does? It sets up all of your problems to immediately be repaired if a solution is in fact created on the Microsoft side. Meaning I don't have to wait for an update to come out, a formal update. If there's a patch on a Thursday or a Friday, you're going to get it. You won't have to wait till Patch Tuesday. You won't have to wait to Service Pack 2 or whatever it is. So notice what it says here. In this case, no solutions were found, but when solutions are available, they will appear in the Action Center, meaning you will see right here, solutions to your problems have been found right in this window here. Down here by the clock, the notification area this is called, you will see a little flag pops up and it blinks on and off and it says, hey, we found solutions to your problems. This is a great interactive tool that will help you to fix issues on your machine. Now, if I go into the settings link here, right next to viewer liability history, you can set up the infrastructure for how your machine goes about checking for solutions to problems that you've had. For instance, we can say automatically check for solutions, which is recommended. We can say automatically check for solutions and send additional report data if needed. We can say each time a problem occurs, ask me before checking for solutions or never check for solutions. Obviously, that's not recommended. So whatever you do, you have some flexibility here uh, to manage this. We can also say change report settings for all users. Okay, we can do this for all users as well. Okay, not just you logged on. This would be for all users. I can also say select programs to exclude from reporting. Why would I want to do that? Well, maybe you've got some apps that are built in-house that Microsoft obviously is never going to have a solution for some kind of a problem. I can add that into here as well. So you'll never report to Microsoft about in-house applications. So you may want to do that as well. We also have up here, what information is sent? Did you ever wonder what is actually sent? Well, you can go in here and actually look at what's being sent. It's a help file. When a hardware or software problem occurs, Windows collects information from, com from your computer that describes the problem and then creates a problem report. Problem report details can include the name of the program that has stopped working, the date, and so forth. Uh, so forth. And again, Windows will notify you and so forth. You can look in here, view the details of a problem report uh, as well. You can do lots of different things with this, but just understand data is in fact going to be reported back to Microsoft. So there is information going both ways here. Just wanted to uh, obviously let you know that. So. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you get a lot of use out of this tool. I know the many, many, many Windows 7 classes and client classes and so forth that I've taught over the years, this is really a tool that pops out in my students' minds as something that is going to give them 
a lot of use in their everyday IT world, their everyday IT, especially at the help desk level. Hey everybody, if you like this video, would you all do me a favor? Would you please leave me a comment? Tell me what you think. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be putting tons and tons of videos up here. I just started this project. You're going to see a lot of videos coming your way out here. I hope to have this a site where certification students, all kinds of people can come and learn about not only Windows 7, but Server 2008, Server 2008 R2. There's going to be a lot of stuff out there on the site. If you're interested, follow me on Twitter, at Win7Trainer. Also, I have a blog. Win7trainer.wordpress.com. I highly recommend you subscribe to the blog. You're going to get all the latest blog posts. Obviously, these are going to be a lot more technical than I really do out here on the channel. So, if you're interested in more technical information, PowerShell scripts of the day, all these different things that I'm going to be throwing up there, please go ahead and subscribe. I will also be having a contest every 30 days. I'll be giving away license keys for Windows 7 and whatever operating systems and lots of different cool stuff. Zune players, I've given away a lot of stuff over the past six months that I've been doing it. So give it a shot. Again, please subscribe if you like it. Check me out on Twitter, at Win7Trainer. Check me out on WordPress, Win7Trainer.wordpress.com. Guys, it's been a pleasure. You're going to see a lot more of these videos. Stay safe. Enjoy your computer.